Welcome to the Running Network Show. Join us each time as we explore the people, the places, and the events that shape our great sport. Jake and Briley, Hanson's. In a slow race, I'm not going to beat anyone. Any, like, it was going to happen pretty much no matter how I played it unless something really went in my favor. So I went out at a pace I felt was comfortable, and they ended up giving it to me. And so a bunch of 27, 30 guys are going to let me run 75s, and I'll stay out of trouble and lead it. And then I threw a couple easy surges in there just to mess with the guys at the back who might you know, have thoughts of really getting after me to at least make sure that I didn't get beaten by anybody surprising. And then, like, when it went, just tried to hang on. And, I mean, I wasn't prepared for quite as fast as it opened up. I didn't, wasn't prepared for a 63 or whatever Bobby ended up running. But, like, I don't know, I think I responded decently well, and I, I finished pretty well, I think. I mean, what, what place did you finally I think get? I ended up finishing eighth, okay. which was like, which is okay. There's some guys up there that like, I think, I think I beat a couple guys that like are good to beat, and I lost to a couple guys that I would have liked to beat. But could you feel the pack breathing down your neck? Yeah, I could see the board every time I came by, and there was just a yeah, a big old bunch up behind me, and like, that's fine. Like as soon as I was in the front, I knew that was gonna happen, and it's not like today was like, I wasn't gonna make a solo PR attempt, so. There was no point in really running fast, so I don't know. I just had fun with it. I wanted to like wave them forward the first two laps because they were 20 meters behind, but whatever. Well, you made, you made it for the you made it for the track. You made it interesting. I got on TV, so I guess that's good. Huh? Look good out there on four miles. Well, I would hope that I feel comfortable at 73 and 74. Might be fun leading for that period of time, wasn't it? Felt kind of good, didn't it? Yeah, I mean, it was like it was just out for a temple run with the boys. It was fine. I don't know. It's kind of disappointing to come to USA's. Like, we've trained for this for quite a while and then, like, have the race play out like that. But it is what it is. And I have the summer. I'm hopefully go to Europe or go to a couple of road races and actually get a PR as opposed to just dicking around out here. And we'll see what happens. What did you learn from the experience? I don't know, like, just having confidence in making moves, like, you know, I I know most people don't consider me, like, in that top tier, but I was able to make moves and they just follow me like little sheep, and, like, that's, it shouldn't be afraid to make moves, like, for a long time in college I was on a very good team, and I had guys that I would follow the whole time, and so now that I'm making this transition to a professional, trying to make it, try to challenge myself to be more aggressive and like be the one challenging other guys and so tonight was another step in that direction and hopefully you know I'll get faster I'll do a lot more training and I'll be in a position where I can do that and then put together that last two miles mile and a half to, to finish it off yeah everyone wants to be like Galen you look good out there congratulations any meets yet picked out at this point? We were running Peachtree in about a week and a half, okay. so that'll be fun. Peachtree? Another hot one. So I guess it's good to get experience here. You're going to go to Europe, do you think, for sure? That's kind of the plan right now, yeah. We don't have, like, concrete plans, but we've been talking about it for a long time. So, yeah, we'll go over there and try and run some races. Then there are Ben, so, yeah, it'll be an experience. Yeah, definitely. Jake, was there any point in there that you were like, Man, this might happen. Uh, the first lap when they gave me a 20 meter gap and I was like, man, I really don't think this is going to hold, but maybe they'll just leave it till two laps to go and I can squeeze something out. Uh, I don't know. I, I feel really crappy like saying like I expected to lose because I, that's not the attitude I had, but I knew it was going to take like a pretty big effort on my part to really pull that one out. It's like at least this strategy. I like the way it went out. Um, but I thought maybe like the heat would play in my favor and like, you know, uh, yo-yoing is harder mentally on people so I thought maybe that would help me out. And I think it, I think it did hurt a couple guys who were kind of started out in the back of that pack. So it worked a little bit. I think I needed to be a little more aggressive to really pull it off.